Today, we're going to evaluate an algebraic expression that has whole numbers in two operations. So I've been given the value of x and of y. x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 30. And I have my expression. So the first thing I need to know is that y over 5 is the same as saying y divided by 5. A fraction means division. So we know that we have an addition and a division operation. So now that we know what our operations are, we're going to substitute in the numbers for the variables or the letters that are in the expression. So I know that x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 30, given the information in the problem. And now I have to follow the order of operations. The order of operations tells us that we have to multiply and divide from left to right, whichever one comes first, before we add or subtract. And again, you would do addition and subtraction from left to right, whichever the, ever one comes first. So we are going to do the division first. So we have 30 divided by five, which is going to be six, and then eight plus six is equal to 14. Let's try one more example. This expression is a minus three C. So again, I need to know that 3c is the same as 3 times c. Whenever you have a number next to a variable, it means multiplication. The number is called a coefficient. Whenever you have two variables next to each other, it also means multiplication. So if I have ac, that's the same as saying a times c. It's the same as if I had a number next to parentheses, or if I had a variable next to parentheses, that also is going to represent multiplication. So 3 parentheses a is going to be equal to 3 times a. So now let's substitute in the numbers that they gave us for those variables. So a is going to be equal to 20 minus 3 times 4, I'm going to use parentheses to represent the multiplication. And the order of operations tells us that we multiply before we subtract. So 3 times 4 is 12. And I'm going to have 20 minus 12, which is equal to 8. 